Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you the polishes that I wore in March. Uh, and it was a lot. I had a lot of manicures in March. I changed my nails frequently and a lot of these um, polish looks had more than one polish in them. So I have so much nail polish in front of me right now. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each polish because we would be here for literal hours. <laughs> But I'm just going to kind of try to go through them as quickly as possible and make this as fun and as entertaining as possible without dragging it out. First polish I wore is in this picture here. And this is Rogue's Witching Hour. You all know I love this. This was right after I bought these polishes, so I was really excited to wear them. And this is the only time I've worn this one so far. But that was the first polish of the month. Next, we have my other Rogue Polish, Most Magical Time. And so this was the second polish that I wore, so I wore them back to back. And I absolutely love this one as well. I'm not going to linger here long because it is a one polish manicure. And I've talked about this polish a lot. Okay, so the next thing I wore was this manicure here. And this is LA Colors Energy. And on top of it, I had LA Color Crystals, and I thought this was such a pretty spring look. I know I've talked about Easter grass a lot, like the shiny iridescent grass that you put in Easter baskets, and that's exactly what this look made me think of, but this is a really cute combo. Next, I had this polish, and this is something y'all will be familiar with because I've worn it a couple times. And this is uh, Olive and June's CCT, just the perfect nude natural nail for me personally i'm not going to spend a lot of time here either because y'all know i absolutely love this polish so next is this look and i was just kind of playing around and uh, just trying something a little funky so i have four different polishes on the base is nailtopia which you can see in the picture but this is nailtopia glow up and then for the white, I just have uh, Blanca by Believe Beauty. And for the gray, I had Ella and Mila on the runway. And I was having a hard time remembering what this reddish orange was because I have a couple that it could be. But I'm pretty sure it is Hell Cherry by Sally Hansen. So that was what was on what I used for this manicure. I thought it was a lot of fun. It reminded me of like the 70s and I just thought it was super super cute so these are the polishes I used for that manicure. So for this uh, pastel skittle nail polish I had OPI's behind the scenes on my thumb. On my pointer finger I had pure eyes peas and quiet. On my middle finger I had Oralee's patience and peace. On my ring finger I had lilac luster by Ella and Mila. And on my pinky, I had So In Love, also by Ella and Mila. So this was like the perfect pastel Easter Skittle manicure. Probably one of my favorites of the month, honestly. I really, really liked this look, and I was very, very happy with it. Okay, so next I wore my third and final Rogue Lacquer, which is from the Ashes We Rise. Um, I wanted to space it out a little bit because I had already tried my other two. So I absolutely love this one. Probably my favorite of the three polishes. But look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. So I was so, so happy with this manicure. And again, that is from the Ashes We Rise by Rogue Lacquer. So next I have one that I've been talking about a lot. And this is a Brocade Crusade by Essie. And I did love it as much as I thought I did. Um, it's not quite as reflective on the nails as it looks in the bottle. Like those uh, shimmers don't show up so much. But it's very subtle and very beautiful. I love a deep vampy nail. And I just really, really enjoy this one. And it was, again, one of my favorites of the month. So I got these mixed up. Earlier I said that I wore Olives and Olive and June CCT, but the one from earlier was actually BEB. 
and this one is CCT. You can see it's just a little bit pinker. So this is the pinker one that I have on in this picture. And the one I had on earlier was the BEB. But I love both of them the same. So like they're basically the same polish. This one's just slightly more pink. But I absolutely loved this. I thought it looked beautiful with the nail stickers. It was so like feminine and elegant. And I really, really enjoyed this one. With this manicure, I was trying out the um, Essie uh, Hollow Filter Effect Polish, and I was so impressed with this. It looked beautiful on, um, and underneath it, I just put on a pinky nude because it's not full coverage, so I wanted something to kind of give it a little bit of help. Um, and what I was wearing is Madison by 10 over 10. You can't really see the pink, but it just kind of gives my nails a base. Uh, and then I layered this on top and it was so, so pretty, very holographic. I was very, very impressed with this one. Okay, so next, I wasn't crazy about this manicure. Um, I feel like this is a color I would use more in like a Skittle or an accent, but this is Essie's main attraction and it is a pretty polish, but it just was not my favorite manicure of the month. It was just a little, I don't know, it looked young, I guess, and I, I, I don't really know what I mean by that because like I wear a lot of young looking polish but something about it just like reminded me of my five-year-old self something I would have liked um but I didn't hate it but it probably was one of my least favorites of the month but I'm still gonna hang on to it I feel like I would like this in a skittle manicure okay so next is a manicure I absolutely love and it's just a cream shade I didn't do anything fancy but this is cliff by 10 over 10 and this color is so so pretty I thought it looked so good just on its own like I felt like my nails looked really really pretty with this on it and yeah I am a huge fan of this kind of orangey rusty brown I just thought it looked so so good and yeah, I'm very, very happy with this polish. So next, I have two polishes. Um, I had one color on one hand and one on the other. In my right hand, I had uh, Chill Out, the uh, Sally Hansen, Sally Hansen Insta Draw. And on my left hand, I had Midnight Drive, also by Sally Hansen. Again, this is the one that is kind of like a dupe for... Um, Revlon's Urban. Urban is still a little bit more purple, but it is very, very close. But I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on video, but this has just a little bit of a purple hue to it. So it's not a perfect dupe, but on the nails, it's very close. But anyway, I had one of on each hand. I love both of these polishes. They are up there with some of my favorites, and I'm looking forward to wearing these again. So I skipped a manicure. I'm not sure where this one goes because it was like in a different file somehow. I'm not really sure. But this was another like Skittle Mani where each nail was different. And I did a video on this so I am not going to stay here long. Um, but the polishes I used were Sinful Colors, Blueberry Smash. Um, I used Revlon's Urban. I used Pure Ice Over You. Um, Wet n Wild Throwing Shade, and then LA Colors um, Mystical. So this is what I use to achieve that look. Like I said, I have a whole video on it, so I'm not going to stay here long, but I did, ha I did wear this this month. I just don't remember the dates. Okay, this is another one that I absolutely loved, and you're going to see a... You're going to see a pattern, but it's another 10 over 10 polish, and this is in the shade Austin absolutely beautiful polish i loved this manicure again i just felt like my hands look so pretty and it's so simple it's just a cream but it was just like such such a pretty color i loved it on my skin tone and i just love it in general so very very pleased with this one okay i do not have pictures of one of my polished bingos um and I don't remember what I had. So I'm missing one manicure. And then I did a polish bingo video. I'm not going to add that in here because I, to be honest with you, I don't even remember what all the colors were. But if you're interested, you can go back and look at that video. And lastly, for the month was a Hardcore Party 
with crystals over top of it again uh, i made a video with this in it as well so i'm not going to linger here long um, but that is the last one i took a picture of but i forgot to um take a picture of another manicure I haven't made a video with it on my nails i don't believe so while i was wearing the pink polish i broke a nail it's this one right here and i had to mend it and so i i painted it i wore throwing shade on some nails and then i wore so i just kind of like alternated nails i think i did like black and then two of the most magical time black and then most magical time and then i did the opposite on the other hand is how i done it i didn't take a picture it was only on my hand for a day i just grabbed something and painted my nails um but yeah i had to mend that and this manicure will be in next um next month's polish video so i'm not going to talk about that so this was technically the last manicure that i wore of the month um but i didn't take a picture like i said i was just trying to hurry and get something on my nails um and really wasn't thinking about it okay so i know that is so much polish um counting the polish bingos um that adds even more like colors this month but what i have in front of me i'm going to count it i used 30 polishes this month not counting the polish bingo polishes which i think there might have been a couple of repeats in there but we are looking at close to 40 polishes that i've used this month maybe even a little more because i did two polish bingos um with um different polishes on each hand but it, with the repeats even like it has to be over 40. so yeah i used a lot of polish i painted my nails so many times that was so many manicures for a month i basically changed it every day at the most every two days um yeah i regret nothing <laughs> but yeah it's a lot of polish but let me know which manicure was your favorite um did you like this format um i don't know i i haven't been showing myself on camera lately because it's just so easy to set my camera up like this and not have to try to get an angle with my face and then show the polish so i've been a little bit lazy about that i am going to do some more makeup videos so like you can actually see my face talking to you um, and I may do some like vlog style, but as far as like nail polish videos, it's just really easy to do it this way. And I talk with my hands anyway, obviously. So it's not unnatural for me to move my hands while I'm talking. So at least it gives you something to look at. <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all soon.